Okay. Well, once again, I have a sick toddler. Um, you should have already watched the video explaining the premise of the project. And the good news is, once again, it's like everything else. We're focusing on our principle of design and experimentation, considering the use of light. This time, however, we're thinking about shape. Uh, we're going to look at um, some past student examples. Um, I, you know, I've actually decided that I'm going to leave their names up because um, half of this class is currently in photo two, and. Uh, what I want you to take away from me choosing to leave them in there is to see the kind of work that was done in photo one and then see the kind of student that moves on to photo two. It is not an elite, you know, group. You're going to see some good stuff and you're going to see some bad stuff as always. Um, but this current photo two class has been really successful. I think, um, you'll see why they are and are not uh, here but don't think because you've got a three on your color photo you can't move on to photo two or AP um, let me remind you that a three is passing in the eyes of the college board and um, you know by the time even an average photo one student gets to AP photography, they know what's going on and are generally successful way above, you know, consistent threes. So it, it, you know, a four is a really solid spot to be. Do not think that you need to be getting fives all of the time to move on to photo two or, or AP. Absolutely not the case. Here's Dylan's. Um, Dylan did a number of great projects. Um, I think this one is a very engaging image. Um, shape is relevant, but I don't think that there's enough evidence of control of the composition and light to say that they definitely understand the principles of design. So that's where this kind of falls a little short is the principles of design are a little weak. But um, I'm moving over. Here we go. Kind of the opposite thing here. Um, really clean, really neat. We have symmetrical balance and, and a degree of emphasis, but it's cereal in a cup. Um, you know, you're falling short in that capacity. Uh, Claire is in uh, photo two right now doing great work still. I would say shapes okay here. So she's going for this um, shadow shape. Um, the shadow itself isn't all that dynamic, but I see intention with the light. Uh, honestly, it, if, if Claire submitted this photo in AP, I would say, all right, you did a lot of things great, but we need to just move you away from the wall a little bit, play with the angle of light. I'm pretty sure she's holding the light herself. You know, it's a difficult situation. Um, uh, and limited flexibility there and control. Um, overall, though, I do appreciate the consideration of light and composition for what she was trying to do. Owen's in photo two as well, same class. Um, this is super clean. Experimentation's not super high, but it's well executed. Um, definitely emphasizing shape and has clear uh, emphasis and balance. Um, for the assignment of shape, fantastic. You know, we're using light, we're experimenting, we're creating shadows and shapes, and really good. Um, there's a little bit on the wall up, up top that I would have not liked in there, but a really neat job. Um, I think it could be more precise but given the tools and the experience that the student had, really well executed. Addison's um, in photo two now, um, considered light, clean image, I think uses shape, nice, nice job. Faith's in photo two now, 
Um, again, pretty clean. Could be a little bit tightened up. I, I think it's lacking a little bit of experimentation, but um, definitely emphasizes shape. Um, it's unclear to me how the shape of the different rocks is contributing to the principle of design. Okay, there are shapes, yes. Are you trying to say contrast between the rock shapes and the sky? Or are you trying to say unity? Because it's just, like I said, a little unclear. Um, it's not that it doesn't exist, it's just not super clear that that's what they were going for. Um, solid. Again, gosh, gosh. Light experimentation principle of design. Shoot, even if there were no shapes in your photo, if you had those first three, light experimentation and a principle of design. Um, here we have shape to a degree light. The principles aren't clear to me. This is really clean and well done. This is a nice photograph, but. I'm not sure what principle they're trying to show me exactly. Uh, and Elise is in photo two now. This one was kind of okay for her. Like, it's radial balance. There's shapes. I think experimentation is pretty low, but fairly successful still. Um. Really a pretty similar story, balance. Um, I like the experimentation of the perspective, but if I'm looking at this, I, I mean, think to yourself now, what principle is this? I'll give you a moment. Okay, you've thought of our principle. Is it that principle because the light's the only thing in focus and that's what you focus on in this emphasis? Or is it a principle because they've clearly demonstrated some sort of manipulation that shows that? I'm in the middle. Like, the emphasis is created because it's in focus and it's brighter than the dark T, I think. But... I couldn't say for sure that that's what she was considering. Shape, yes. Contrast, yes. Effective, somewhat. Yeah, she's in photo two as well. And I think we this is one where we resubmitted. Definitely shape. And it's almost symmetrical balance except for all of this in the way. That was hugely problematic. Like, that's one of those things like I could not forgive. Um, it basically wrecked the organization of this composition. Um, really, and I'm positive I said it in the other video, was isolating your subject, isolating the shape, having a clean image that defines what you're going for. This does that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, strawberry into a glass of water. Um, has some issues in the background and obvious technical challenges that have been covered in uh, various ways before. Super clean, um, super clean, but. What principle are they going for? And what about this demonstrates that? Simply having one thing in focus and the other in not is pretty simple 